outdoor video today. We're off to the woods, so I'll see you there. So I sometimes wonder why I put myself through these outdoor shoots because there are a lot more work to do. I don't get any more views than if I just shoot at home, but I think I just enjoy it. I like getting out and about. I love getting out in nature. Uh, I love filming outdoors. I love the extra challenges. So there it is. I've got to deal with it and stop complaining, I suppose. I've only got myself to blame. Okay, we're here at the woods and you might be able to see I brought my bike with me because there's a weird thing at these woods. I love this woods. It's a great wood, perfect for filming in. Not many people other than a few dog walkers, few joggers. There used to be an easy access to the woods. It used to be a simple path a few metres from here into the woods, but the landowner has had some kind of dispute and has closed it off. It's got barbed wire all over the gate that you used to be able to go through. And uh, last time I tried to climb over that, after I filmed my Fantomas video, I almost left an important part of my anatomy dangling there like dice on a rearview mirror. So I'm not going to attempt that again. So what I'm going to have to do is go all the way around to the other side of the forest and come in that way. And it just takes a long time to walk, so I'm going to ride. No complaints from me though, it just means I get a ride in the woods instead of a walk. I don't know how clearly you can see, but that's the gate with the barbed wire where I nearly left my knackers. I've come down to the woods today to tell you about my top 10 autumn niche fragrances. Let's get started. Before we get started, I just want to say that all the 10 fragrances I'm about to talk about are superb. I couldn't rank them from 1 to 10, so what you're about to see is in no particular order, just 10 bloody good fragrances. The fragrance I'm starting off with is from Teo Cabanel. It's actually my favourite from what is a great line, it's Barcan. Bacan has vetiver, myrrh, vanilla and oud. And despite having some robust notes of cumin and oud, these notes never stand out, they never dominate the scent at all. In fact, it's a very smooth blend. It's got this uplifting nature to it as well as this smooth, woody creaminess. It just works so perfectly in autumn. It's a very smooth, very sophisticated fragrance that I absolutely love. Teo Cabanel had the, the good thought to not only put it in a bottle that is camouflaged for autumn, but also a bottle that matches with my watch. Thanks, Teo Cabanel. The next fragrance is a real autumn powerhouse. It's from a brand that have a reputation for having thick, full-bodied, very rich fragrances. This is probably the most accessible and probably the easiest to wear of all their fragrances, of any fragrance really, whether it's designer or niche. Have you guessed it yet? From Part From Damali, it's Leighton. In Leighton, you get apple, rich vanilla, creamy sandalwood, warm, spicy cardamom. Very easy to wear fragrance, very mass appealing. A lot of people will say that it reminds them of a designer fragrance. Yes, it's mass appealing and very easy to wear, but personally, the quality here is on another level, which firmly places it in niche territory for me. This is one of my most complimented fragrances. If you're looking for a fragrance that is mass appealing and will maybe pull you in a few compliments this autumn, definitely give Leighton a try.
The next one is my favourite from Swedish brand Swedoft, it's the stunning Exude. The oud in this one is a beautiful clean oud, definitely not a stinky oud, it's just adding a great quality to the fragrance. You've also got notes of black currant, saffron, rum, leather, all these notes just effortlessly roll into one really unique smelling fragrance. I love to wear this when I'm getting dressed up for a formal occasion and I want to feel and smell well put together. On those occasions, Exude is perfect. I'm visiting the house of Navitas Parfums next and this is definitely one of my favourites from them, it's Arcanum. Cinnamon, Osmanthus, Vanilla, Tonka, do I need to go on? Okay, I will do for a little bit longer. The frankincense gives it this really lovely, mysterious quality. The oud gives it some punchiness. I find it warm and comforting, but also assertive. So it's a very interesting and enigmatic fragrance. If you like Herod from Parfum de Mali, you will also like this. It doesn't smell the same, but it's in a similar ballpark. Lovely for autumn. Very much sticking with luxury for the next one. This is from Fragrance de Bois, and this scent is inspired by the city in which I met their team for the first time. So it's quite fitting that I love it so much. It's Milano. The best way I can describe Milano is that it shimmers and sparkles with quality. There's like a fruit medley accord and then there's some vanilla and leather, amber and resins and despite these very rich heavier notes it's definitely not a heavy fragrance. It's a very uplifting fragrance. You can just tell that the quality is superb. It's a very smooth blend. I get fantastic performance on this for a scent that doesn't feel so full-bodied and so rich and so heavy performance is great and I actually think that this is fairly reasonably priced you're going to be paying 200 pounds for 100 mil which is I think fairly reasonable for a niche fragrance but for that price with Milano you're going to get stunning quality The next brand I'm talking about is from New York City. They make some amazing fragrances. I love Oud Tabac, Santel des Indes. This one is also stunning. It's Golden Oud. I absolutely adore Golden Oud for several reasons. The first is that it's got this really interesting note of champagne cassis, which is red berries mixed with champagne. So it sparkles in the opening. And then wait for this because you've got Oud, smoked caramel, guyac wood, Madagascan vanilla, myrrh, and tobacco. So if you know me and you know my taste in fragrances, you know that it just falls right into the center of what I love. This also is the scent of New York for me because I met the brand in New York. I got this fragrance, I wore it for the rest of the trip. I remember wearing it on the way home and sitting on the plane and feeling pretty pleased with myself that I was smelling of this. If you love sweet, rich, luxurious fragrances like Naxos, then I can guarantee you will also love Golden Oud. The next one is from one of my favourite brands, British of course, it's Galavant and this is my current favourite from their lineup, Istanbul. Big time cardamom and vanilla fragrance with patchouli, myrrh and sandalwood. It's warm, it's spicy, it's comforting. Brand owner Nick Stewart sends us fragrant poetic postcards from around the world and they're inspired by his visits to cities that he loves. So obviously this is inspired by Istanbul. I love the way that the sweet cardamom works off my skin on this. It's really diffusive. I think it's very mass appealing. I get a good performance of this one. If you're interested in checking out Galavant, you can buy their discovery set for £25. And then if you go on to buy a full bottle, you will get that £25 off the full bottle. I think that's great. More brands should be doing it like that. Well done, Galavant.
50 quid and I'll stick it in my autumn list. 25. All right, deal. Okay, cheers, Dan. Speak soon. Okay, next up, I just had to include this beauty from Norton and Wilson. It's Gravitas. Little bit spicy, little bit fresh, little bit soapy, a lot good. I love, love, love the nod to Fougere style barbershop fragrances with this one, but it never feels dated at all. It feels very modern to me, maybe for the older gentleman, but definitely not a dated scent. It does this modern thing where it uses these compliment getting notes of cardamom, vanilla and patchouli. And I just feel that fragrances with these notes really jump off the skin and really have this very mass appealing effect. So you get this nod to Fougere, but you also get this really lovely mass appealing nature to the fragrance. I also get this tantalizing chocolatey cacao accord, which I really love. I was wearing this in a taxi once when I was going into town and the taxi driver asked me if I was wearing a Tom Ford because he loved it and he wanted to know where he could buy it. So the hype is real on this one, guys, even if you're not a taxi driver. Pretty difficult to put a top 10 list together without including a Roger, so I'm including a Roger. I'm going to tell you all about my fetish. I can't work out why this one feels so naughty. Maybe it's just the name, maybe it's the leather in here, maybe it's the cinnamon and the pepper giving it a naughty kick. Anyway, if you're in the mood to turn heads, this will do it. It reminds me a little bit of those red fiery cinnamon gobstoppers that I used to eat as a kid. You know, the kind that used to really burn your mouth and you had this challenge of keeping it in there with having to take it out. Well, it's not hot. Well, it kind of is hot in, in a different kind of way. But imagine that you're eating one of those gobstoppers, you're wearing a leather jacket, feeling like a badass. You're pretty much there. I was supposed to wear this for a date last night. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. I was a bit tied up. I've only had this one for two or three weeks, but the second I sprayed this boozy beast, I was in love. From Amouage, it's Overture. It opens with a cheeky kick of grapefruit and then you get some smoky woods and incense, but the dry down is where the real magic happens because the cognac blends with the benzoin and the sandalwood to give you this creamy, rich, luxurious, boozy fragrance, which I think is just stunning. It has all the power that you would expect from a classic Amouage fragrance. I could wear this any time during the autumn and winter, but I think I would like to save this for special occasions, maybe formal occasions where you're dressed up smart, you want to own the room, you want to be the boss. It's that kind of statement making fragrance. This is a new release from Amouage, but I predict that it's going to be a popular one. So there were my top 10 autumn niche fragrances from this beautiful autumn location. Let me know what you think of my choices and also let me know what your top autumn niche fragrances are. I'd love to hear from you. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one.